Good evening and welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. I'm Joe Kulisar, your play-by-play -play here with Xavier Bissett, your color commentator. Excited to be here tonight. We got a great game. The Maslin Tigers are taking on the Middletown Cavaliers from Delaware. And this is the second meeting of both teams. Tigers. Um, Tigers are 5-0, winning against a hard-fought football game last week against St. Ed's, winning 15-13, and Middletown is 3-0, coming off a win against Odessa, winning 56-0. Xavier, how are you feeling about tonight's game? Tonight's game's going to be really good. We got really good players on both sides for both teams, so tonight should be a good fight. Yep, going to be a great hard-fought game from both sides. Excited to see what happens here. Perfect football weather tonight. Very excited to see how our offense is. See on the right side of the field, Middletown running to the right. So, this will be this will be the second meeting of both teams. Um, last year, the Cavaliers lost 42 to 24 as Coach Moore started. Um, it wasn't pretty, but it was a win. And Maslin slammed the, slammed the door shut on Middletown's run attack. And last year, Middletown finished their season seven to five. Looks like we have, looks like the middle school choir coming out on the field right now. you have it. That was the national anthem sang by our middle school choir. It's always nice to see school bringing in the younger grades. My little brother's down there in the choir right now, Chance. So it's always nice to see them bring in the younger kids, let them get a part in our games and in our program. Yeah, very exciting to see the younger kids getting involved, showing their spirit in the game. Tonight, it's a very special night. It is also middle school marching night, so during halftime, our middle school band will be- Prior to the kickoff, we had unsportsmanlike conduct on Middletown. There'll be a 15-yard penalty. They'll be kicking this. What? So, so as you can see right there, that's unsportsmanlike conduct. 
on Middletown because they ran through our band on the right there during that's our the, alma mater. That's the first time I've actually seen a flag before the game even starts. Yeah, first time I have ever seen that. Super excited for tonight's game. So the Tigers are 5-0 and right now, and this is the first time since 2019 that we have had a perfect start to a season 5-0. In 2019, we went 14-0, and this is the first time since then we have been undefeated. So very excited to see what this team has to offer this year. Same with Middletown. They got a lot of great players, a lot of D1 commits on both offense and defense. So very excited to see what they have to bring to this football game tonight. Very excited to see how the Tigers handle Middletown tonight, especially because Middletown is a very big, deep passing team. So our defense will have to be aware of that. So, ball is up. That kick was received in the end zone by number four, Amari Glover. That was a touchback. The kick goes into the end zone for a touchback. The Cavaliers will start out first. That was number four on the touchback there for Middletown, Amari Glover. So Austin Troyer there for Middletown, taking the snap, hands it off, gets to meet with our Tiger defense. That was number one. Mo Kai Walker. So as you can see right there, coming out, handing it off, but we will see tonight Austin Troyer. That's an offside to throw the ball. Tigers. Offside, defense, five yard penalty, second down. So it was second and 11, but that'll push it up to second and six. Austin Troyer will take the snap. Who looking to throw? It'll be a quick throw to his right. That was complete by number 19, Jacoby Rogers. Jacoby Rogers. See on the replay here. Very nice, very nice read by the quarterback there. Just quick throw, get it out of his hands. So it, that will bring us to first and 10. Austin Troyer will take the snap again, and it will be a qui another quick throw to number four, Amari Glover. Mm -hmm. 
So between the Middletown's offense and defense, they have over the amount of D1 commits on both offense and defense. Ajahn Troyer will take the snap. He'll fake the handoff. And that throw will be way out of reach. Was intended for number seven, Avion Matthews. That was intended for number seven, Avion Matthews. So that will bring us to third down. So first third down of the game for Middletown. You can see in the past few games, Tigers have taken over on third down. Austin Troyer will take a snap. It'll be a high snap, and he will get caught up and taken down by number three, Dorian Pringle. See on the replay here, this very high snap. Wasn't. So that will be a third down stop. The first third down stop of the game. So that is the 42nd third down stop at home this season. So Hackenbrack is back to receive the punt. And he will dive and catch the ball. So tonight we are missing Dewan Owens, but we are led by Jalen Slaughter tonight. So first drive for this Maslin Tiger offense. Excited to see what the, this Tiger offense has tonight for us and what is in store. Jane Slaughter will take the snap looking downfield to throw and it'll throw it downfield and it'll be a launch. And that will be caught by number one, Braylon Tools, and that will be a Tiger touchdown. So right out of the gate, first play of the game, Tigers coming out, dominating here, taking over, getting that early, early lead. You can see on the replay here, just very nice read by the quarterback to decide to take a chance and throw it all the way downfield. So. Teo Harris. Field goes good. Field goes good, and we will be right back after this word from Back to Excavating. First score, chapter seven. Middletown zero. Bactyl Excavating has been serving Maslin and the surrounding areas since 2000. We specialize in residential, commercial, industrial site work, and utility installation. Our primary focus is our people. Bactyl Excavating invests in its people by providing the best training and equipment possible to complete projects safely, efficiently, and with great quality. Whether you're looking to build a career or your next construction project, give us a call. Bactyl Excavating. As always, thanks to Bactel Excavating for their support of our Tigers football on WHS TV. So coming back from commercial, last play, first play of the game, Tigers come right out, score a touchdown. Very nice deep throw by Maslin. Maslin taking that, that lead in this first quarter. Mateo Harris will kick it away. 
for the Tigers. So kick is away, and it will be bounced and will be picked up by number four, Amari Glover. That will be at the 15 yard line. Let's see on the replay here. Very nice. He gets. Tigers Me. defense just swarming in on him almost instantly. Yeah. Very nice swarm there. So Middletown will take over on offense again. First and 10. They will start on their own 18 yard line. Austin Troyer will look to throw the ball and it'll be a quick throw. It will be pushed out of bounds. That pass was intended for number three, Ron Neal Davis. So you can see the Tigers putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback this game. Already. So second and 10 on the 18 yard line. Austin Troyer. So three right, one left. Austin Troyer will take the snap and it'll be a, a throw to the right. And you can see the juke right there. So goes to the 35, to the 40. And past the 50. There will be a flag on that play. See on the replay here. Very nice throw to number six. Matthew Priestley. And you can see he just breaks guys left and right right there. Yeah, I, I could see what Personal foul, was. laid hit out of bounds against the defense. That's 15 yards and a first down. We so. also have a sideline warning against Middletown. That's their first and no yardage penalty. So that will push up Middletown, 15 yards right there. See the late hits on the sideline. So it will be second and 10. First and 10, my apologies. So if nine minutes and 17 seconds here in the first quarter, Maslin up seven to zero. So Middletown in Maslin territory now. Austin Troyer will take the snap. He'll fake the handoff. And that'll be a quick throw to number two, William Garrett. There is a flag on the play. Illegal formation on the offense. That's a five yard penalty. Five yards, it'll be first down. Middletown had five men in the backfield. So, illegal formation on Middletown there. That'll push Middletown back five yards. So Middletown, their past three games, has put up more than 40 points, winning their first game 41 to 14. Their second game, 41 to seven, and winning their third game, 56 to zero. So Middletown has been very dominant of those games. Austin Troyer will hand it off to number one, McCoy Walker. You see on the replay here, very hard hit right there. 
by number three, Dorian Pringle. So that will bring up second and 14 on the 39 yard line for the Middletown Cavaliers. Austin Troyer and that looks like a false start or an offsides on the offense. Offside, defense number 92, defense. five yard penalty, second down. So that was a five yard penalty. That was number 92, Chase Bond. See right there, owns up to it right away. So that'll bring up second and nine on the 34 yard line for the Middletown Cavaliers. Austin Troyer will looking to throw. And that throw will be incomplete. That was in that was intended for Jacoby Rogers. So that'll bring up third and nine for Middletown. We can see the Tigers in these first couple of plays here that they're being very dominant on defense and getting to the quarterback. So this defense definitely came ready for their quarterback. Austin Troyer, he'll take snap, he'll throw. It'll be a throw downfield and it will be incomplete was intended for number three, Ronell Davis. So that war will be the 43rd third down stop at home for the Tigers this season. So that'll bring up a fourth and nine. So seven minutes and 42 seconds left to go in this ball game and in the first quarter. My apologies. Tigers leading seven to zero. They will go for it. Middletown will go for it here on fourth down. Austin Troyer looking to throw. And that throw was incomplete. That was intended for number six, Matthew Priestley. See on the replay here, looking to throw in, throws it into coverage. Very nice stop there for the Massillon Tigers. So, so Tigers will take back over on offense. It'll be first and 10 on the 34 yard line. Slaughter will hand it off to Peyton Mitchell gets the carry for the Tigers. That was number 32, Payne Mitchell on the carry there for the Tigers. So second and, second and five on the 39 yard line, Jalen Slaughter will hand it off again. Handed it off to number 32, Payne Mitchell again. See Tigers getting a little bit of their run game off here on their replay. See they get met with the Middletown defense. So third and four on the 40 yard line. Jay and Slaughter will hand it off again. And that'll be a nice run just past the 50 yard line. That was number 21, Jameer Gamble. And that will bring Maslin to a first and 10 on the 48 yard line. Slaughter. Slaughter will take the snap and will do a quick throw to number one, Braylon Tools. Number 15 there again to make the tackle for the Crusaders. 
see on the replay here. Nice quick throw, but just. Defense was prepared. Yeah. There was Durian Ruggle. Jay and Slaughter will take the throw, looking to throw downfield. We'll take a throw downfield that was intended for number one, Braylon Tools. See right there, Braylon Tools was open in the middle of the field. Unfortunate drop. So third and 10 on the 48 yard line for Maslin. Slaughter will take the snap. He'll be looking to throw it again. It'll be a quick throw to number seven, Jacquez Carter. And Jacquez Carter wide open to the 20, to the 10. And that is a touchdown for the Tigers. That was Jacquez Carter. That will, on the replay here, you can see very nice throw to Jacquez Carter, and Jacquez Carter just breaking through and finding those openings in that Middletown defense. So that will be the second touchdown for the Maslin Tigers. That will bring the score 13 to zero. So Tigers will have the lead here. You actually see in the replay, he slipped at first, but he recovered really well. Yeah. Really nice, making sure he keeps himself up there. So number 86, Mateo Hera. Field goal is good. All right, enjoy more Tiger football after this word from Cosmos Grill. Cosmos Grill in downtown Madison has a great new lineup this season. Cosmos welcomes football fans in for Friday Night Lights every Friday from 9 to midnight during the football season. Enjoy all happy hour food and beverage specials after the game. Regular happy hour specials are featured Monday through Friday from 2 to 5 p.m. Cosmos can also host your holiday banquets and parties. Check out Thrifty Thursdays and 10 lunch items under $10. All available at Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. The Paul Brown Museum at your Maslin Museum is dedicated to preserving the history of legendary coach Paul Brown and Maslin's football heritage. Explore the traditions that make Massillon's football program unique and learn about the man who helped start it all. With over a century of history, there's so much to discover. The Paul Brown Museum, open today. Welcome back to the game and thank you to both Cosmos Grill and the Massillon Museum. Mateo Harris to Kick it away for the Tigers. Will be bounced and will be picked up by Middletown. A nice run right there for Middletown. That was number four, Amari Glover. Amari Glover, my apologies. See on the replay here, very nice run and staying up. So that will be first and 10 on the 47 yard line. And Middletown will take over again here on offense in the first quarter with five minutes and 19 seconds left. So Tigers will take the early, early lead here in the first quarter with 14 to zero. Troyer. Took the snap, and that was handed over to Amari Glover. See Amari Glover staying on his feet still. All players are coming at him. This Tigers defense is just prepared for most of their plays already. You can definitely tell the Tigers have been focusing on the Middletown's run game here. So Austin Troyer will be looking to throw. 
and it'll be throw it to the left side. And that was intended for number seven, Avion Matthews. See this Tigers defense staying with their guys on the replay here. It just wasn't in enough reach for Avion Matthews to get it. So it will be third down for Middletown here in this first quarter. Austin Troyer will take the snap, looking to throw downfield. It'll be a throw downfield, and he jumped up. And that pass was incomplete too. Number two, William Garrett. You can see right there. You know he didn't come down with it. You can see the athleticism in him to jump up and try and come down with that ball. Just an unfortunate well, drop. Being in double coverage, so. That'll be the 44th third down stop at home this season. So, Middletown will bring out the punting unit. unit. And that will be a high snap. But it will be taken by number 24, Tylen Hackenbrack. Tune in every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. for the Nate Moore Show on WHS-TV. Each week, Coach Moore reviews the previous game and looks ahead to the next opponent. Plus, you'll meet a Tiger player. Watch the Nate Moore Show every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. on WHS-TV. Find us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. So Maslin take over here on offense again. First and 10 on the 24 yard line. Slaughter will take the snap and will throw it to number seven, Jacquez Carter. Jacquez Carter staying up his, is staying on his feet, though he slipped a little there. As you can see on the replay here, nice throw to Jacquez Carter and Jacquez Carter staying on his feet. Seen a nice few plays here by Jacquez Carter. So it'll be second and eight on the 26 yard line with three minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Slaughter will hand it off. And pushing forward was number 32, Peyton Mitchell. Gets to carry number 32, Peyton Tigers. Mitchell. Number 55, Justin McGill, there to make a stop. Justin McGill was there to make that stop. So third and seven on the 27 yard line for the Tigers. Slaughter will take the snap, looking to throw downfield, and it'll be a, and he will watch it downfield to number eight, Emmy Lewis Jr. Let's see on the replay here, very nice arm by, by Jalen Slaughter to get it all the way downfield like that. What a 30 yard pass, something like that. That was a very nice play there. Slaughter's accuracy on this pass is this game has been amazing already. Yeah. So, first and 10 for Slaughter. Slaughter will take the snap. That is a flag, and Middletown will take over on offense. So that was a turnover. And there is no flag.
Minotan offense out there, and you can see after that turnover, the defense not, not thinking of it. And Austin Troyer will hand it off. That was number one. That was number one, McCoy Walker there on that carry. So second and eight, Austin Troyer looking to get something started. Austin Troyer will fake the handoff. And Austin Troyer was looking to throw to somebody but was met by number 45, Michael Wright Jr. See on the replay here. Can't find anybody to throw to. And Mike Wright Jr. just going through that offensive, that offensive line. And that will bring us to third and 24. So you can see Tiger offense being very, Tiger defense being very dominant here in this game, putting up a nice fight. So third and 24. Timeout, there will be Middletown, a timeout. that's the first of the half. All right, during this timeout, here's a word from Medicap Pharmacy. Medicap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from 5 to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait a half hour to an hour. They're probably the best uh, pharmacist in the city. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at Medicap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. Serving our community since 1960, Buell and Oliveri Insurance is large enough to meet all of your insurance needs, yet small enough to know you personally. We take pride in having several insurance carriers, including Grange Insurance, that we can match you with to provide you the most complete coverage and the best rates. If you're tired of lower service and higher premiums, give Buell and Oliveri Insurance a call today and let our experienced agents and staff give you the professional attention you deserve. Thank you to both. Thank you to both Medicap Pharmacy and Buell and Oliveri Insurance. So coming back now on the replay, there you can see Austin Troyer getting caught up on third and 24. So that will bring us to fourth and 24. You can see Maslin defense once again being very dominant on on defense. So that will be fourth and 30th with, with 35 seconds left. Middletown will be forced to punt it. Delay of game. That flag will be delay of game on delay of offense, game. Offense, five yard penalty, fourth down. So that will push them back five yards. I think at this point, they're just trying to run the clock. So that. So running play clock here in the first quarter. Middletown will punt it away, and it will be a short punt. And it is down at the 12. So with 11 seconds to go in this first quarter, Maslin offense will come out onto the field and on the 13 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 on the 13 yard line. Slaughter will lead the offense back out onto the field. So you can see Maslin using their dominance 
in this game, coming with the early lead, 14 to zero. Very nice found foundation the Tigers are laying in this first quarter. Slaughter will hand it off to number three, Dorian Pringle. Dorian Pringle just keeps on trucking along with a bunch of players hanging on to him. Very powerful run there by Dorian Pringle. Now during this break, here's a word from the alumni, WHS Alumni Association. The Washington High School Alumni Association provides many services to the alumnus and the community. One of the most rewarding things is helping classes with their class reunions or milestone birthday celebrations. If a class chooses to use the Alumni Association, Envelopes and labels will be provided at no cost, and your invitations will be mailed out as bulk mail, which is a cheaper cost to the class. The Alumni Association also prints a newsletter twice a year. If you make an annual donation of no less than $5, you will receive the newsletter via mail in the spring and fall. If you have moved or your contact information has changed, please visit our website at maslinwhsaa.org and complete the alumni information form to make any changes. If you are interested in joining the Alumni Association, please contact any trustee or call the alumni office at 330-830-3901, extension 51617. Thank you to the WHS Alumni Association for their support of our Tiger football. So coming back to the start of the second quarter, Tigers are first and one on the one yard line and the Tigers will run it in. That is number three, Dorian Pringle. That will be Tiger touchdown. See on the replay here, very nice run by Dorian Pringle, just running straight through that Middletown defense. So it's good. And now we'll be back after this word from the Home Appliance Company. It's where we come together, where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop into one of our locations today and become a friend of the family. Welcome back and thank you to both the Home Appliance Company and Friends and Family Credit Union. Tigers will kick it away. There is a flag in the backfield. Offside, kicking team, five yard penalty, re-kick. So that flag will be on Maslin. That'll push him back five yards. So Maslin has to re-kick this one off. So second quarter, 11 minutes and 57 seconds. Maslin is leading 21 to zero.
So I pushed him back to the 35-yard line. So kick is away. And that was into the hands of number four, Amar, Amari Lover. Taken all the way to the 40-yard line, it looks like. Yeah. You can see on the replay here, lets the ball bounce. It's a little one, just is very explosive and very nice run there by Amari Glover. So, Maslin defense will come back out on the field and Middletown will come back out on offense. So Austin Troyer, first and 10, will take the snap and there is a flag. False start, offense, number 64, five yard penalty, first down. So it'll be a false start on number 64. Brendan Correction, 5-4, 54. My apologies. Number 54, Corey Campbell. So first and 15, Austin Troyer will hand it off to number four, Amari Glover. Not getting much of anywhere on that run. So it'll be second and 18 on the 33 yard line for the Middletown offense. Seeing Maslin putting up a nice, nice fight here. Troyer with the snap. Number four slipped. Cannon off to Mari Glover. See on the replay here, Mari Glover slips a little. So that will bring us to third and 18 with 10 minutes and 35 seconds left in the second quarter. Tigers, Maslin Tigers are leading this 21 to zero. So, timeout Middletown, that's the second of the half. Timeout During Middletown. This timeout, here's a word from Fat Daddy Meats. Fat Daddy Meats, when you have the fillin' to do some grilling or roasting, broiling, pan frying, slow cooking, braising, smoking, or even air frying. However you like to cook it, Fat Daddy Meats has it. Locally sourced ground beef, steaks, roasts, prime rib, and seafood. Pork, chicken, bison, and exotics like elk, venison, wild boar tenderloin, wagyu burgers, even whole rabbits. Individual packages or bulk bundle options are available, all with great prices. When you have that fillin' to do some grilling, it's Fat Daddy Meats and Maslin. Doring Vision Center is a primary care optometry clinic located in downtown Maslin. We have an optical department with a wide variety of eyeglass frames. From budget packages to designer brands, we have it all. Doring Vision Center uses the latest technology and fit all types of contact lenses. We treat eye disease conditions and will take emergency eye visits. Most insurances are accepted and same day appointments may be available. Doring Vision Center, see our offices in Maslin or New Philadelphia. Thank you to both Fat Daddy Meats and Doring Vision Center. Sasha Troyer takes the snap and quick throws it to number four, Amari Glover. You see on the replay here, Austin Troyer with the quick throw to Amari Glover. Doesn't get him much of anywhere. 
So it'll be fourth and 10 for Middletown on the 41 yard line. Tigers punting it, I mean, Middletown punting it away. Number 82, punter Matt Culberson's punt is down. So with nine minutes and 28 seconds to go, the Maslin Tiger offense will come back out on the field. Tigers defense just hard stopping Middletown right now. Yeah. You can see this Maslin Tiger defense has prepared for this Middletown offense. Everyone's been watching film. So Jalen Slaughter will lead the Tiger offense back onto the field and will take the snap. It will be a throw downfield. And that pass was incomplete, was intended for number seven, Jack Wes Carter. That'll bring up second and 10 on the 34 yard line. See some really nice plays where Slaughter is throwing to Jack Quest Carter, and Jack Quest Carter has made those big plays here. Slaughter will take the snap, looking to throw. He will throw it to his left, to number seven, Jack Quest Carter. See on the replay here, quick throw on the left. And there is a flag. Yeah, right right before that replay there, you could see one of Middletown pushed one of our guys. After the play was concluded, we have a dead ball personal foul against the defense, number 15. It's a 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. So there will be a 15, 15 yard penalty, a personal foul that will push the Tigers up 15 yards. You can see Middletown ever since coming out and at the start of the game, ever since they they got that unsportsmanlike conduct, have had a little, been a little, been a little bit fired up. A little bit fired up. So first and 10 on the 45 yard line. Slaughter will take the snap, looking to throw again downfield. And it'll be a throw downfield that was intended for number one. Grayland Tools. You can hear the crowd a bit displeased. Looked a bit like like defensive pass interference. See on the right replay there. here, Slaughter going to throw. You can see there was a little bit of pass interference there with number 16. You can see the fans are very unhappy that yeah, the ref no did not call. call it. Slaughter, second and 10, will take the snap, and it will be a throw to number seven, Jack Quest Carter. Jack Quest Carter. Finds that little open right there. That'll be a nice quick throw to Jack Quez Carter. So that will bring us to third and two, third and two on the 37 yard line. Slaughter. Will hand it off to number 45, Mike Wright Jr. Mike Wright Jr. find that opening, just getting through that Middletown defense. Mike Wright Jr., you can see right there on the replay, just very nice going through that Middletown defense. Brings that power to bring us to first and 10 on the 25 yard line for the Maslin Tigers. Jane Slaughter with the 
handoff to number 32, Peyton Mitchell. Number 32, Peyton Mitchell with the carry. See on the replay here, very nice handoff to Peyton Mitchell. Number nine, Akendir Matthews with the stop for the Cavaliers. So that will be second and six on the 21 yard line. So on second down, Slaughter will take the snap, looking to throw downfield again. Throws it downfield on the left, on the left side, and that was caught in the end zone by number eight, Emmy Lewis Jr. That'll be another Maslin Tiger touchdown. So that'll bring the score 27 to zero. See Maslin getting that nice lead in this first half of this game. Mateo O'Hara to kick the extra point. And kick is good. And we'll be right back after this word from the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The After the play, we had two penalties. The leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thank you to the Maston Boys and Girls Club. So coming back in the second quarter with seven minutes and 19 seconds, Tigers taking that lead, making the score 28 to zero. Now there was two flags on the, on the play. Not sure what those two flags were on. I know there was one on the kicking team Not quite sure. Not sure what those flags and who they were on. So number 86, Mateo O'Hara, looking to kick it away for the Tigers. So seven, with seven minutes and 19 seconds in the second quarter, Mateo O'Hara will kick it away. And that'll be a sideliner kick. There will be a flag. Illegal kicking, kick out of bounds on Maslin. Middletown elects to take the ball at the 35 yard line. So that'll be an, an illegal kick on Maslin. So that'll make it first and 10 on the 35 yard line. And see the Tiger defense coming back on the field. Been very Correction, Middletown would like to exercise their option for a re-kick. We're gonna penalize Maslin five yards and they're gonna kick again. Okay, so. So the, so Middletown. Actually asking for a re-kick instead of just taking it. Massive kicking team coming back out on the field. Very interesting choice there by Middletown to have us re-kick that ball. See what 
opportunity that will bring to this Middletown offense. So, Middletown is the number one team in Delaware. So, Mateo O'Hara will kick it away again for the Tigers. That will be caught by number zero, Ryan. Number zero, Ryan Vanker. Vanker. Van Kerhoven. So, nice field position for Middletown. Now that re-kick did make them gain two yards. Puts nice field position for for this Middletown offense. So number 10, Austin Troyer, back out here with this Middletown offense. Austin Troyer will take the snap and will hand it off to number four, Amari Glover. You can see nice run there by Amari Glover picking up those yards. You can see on the replay here, finds that little opening that his players made for him and just takes it. Very nice run there by him. So that brings us to second and two. Austin Troyer will be looking to throw again. He'll take a throw downfield. The throw will be high. That pass was intended for number two, William Garrett. Maverick Park, number zero there on the coverage for the Tigers. So William Garrett right there, he's one of many D1, D1 recruits there, has offers from Pitt and Syracuse. So in the second quarter with six minutes and 41 seconds, Austin Troyer will look to throw, and that throw will be incomplete. Pass was going forward when it was batted. Fourth down. So you can see another third down play where this Tiger defense comes out strong and gets pressure on their quarterback. You can see this Tiger, Tiger defense has been a very, very strong component too this Maslin Tiger, these Maslin Tigers tonight. So, 28-0, Austin Troyer will take the throw. Will throw downfield. He'll be on the far sideline. Side that was intended for number three, Ronnell Davis. So the Maslin Tiger offense will take back over here in the second quarter with six minutes and 32 seconds left to go. That's the fourth or fifth, fourth down turnover now. Yeah, very big key component to this, these Tigers having the. So very big component to this ball game and Tiger success is their defense. So Slaughter looking to throw downfield, a very powerful throw downfield that was intended for number seven, Jack Quez Carter. Brings to a second down. You can see Slaughter having a very nice arm on him, being able to make those deep throw, those deep passes. So Slaughter with two receivers to his left and right. He 
Second and 10 on the 45 yard line. Slaughter will take the snap. Looking to throw downfield again. Takes the throw downfield. And that pass was incomplete. Was intended for number eight, Emmy Lewis Jr. Sammy Lewis Jr. making few plays here for the Tigers. So the Tigers in Middletown territory. Third and 10 on the 45. Slaughter looking to throw downfield again. And it'll be a quick throw to number seven, Jacquez Carter. There is a flag down on the field. See on the replay here, has to reevaluate. A legal player downfield on the offense, number 61. It's a five yard penalty from the previous spot. Third down. So, oh, I, I thought he was past the line of scrimmage. So there is a penalty. penalty. That will be an illegal man downfield. That will be on number 61, Nolan Davenport. So that will bring us to third and 15 on the 50-yard line. Slaughter looking to throw again downfield. Eyes are still downfield. It was almost caught by number one, Braylon Tools. Passing completed, intended for number one, Braylon Tools. Number seven, Avion Matthews on the coverage for the Cavaliers. Now you can see there's another penalty on the field. We have fouls on both teams on the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number 15 on the defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number 19 on the offense. Those penalties will offset. Fourth down, it was after the play. That's the second, that's the second unsportsmanlike on number 15, right? So I believe earlier in the game, he shoved number one after a play. You can see Middletown with a lot of unsportsmanlike conduct. That's both players' first unsportsmanlike of the game. Oh. So that is, so on both, that is their first unsportsmanlike conduct of the game. So fourth and 15. Maslin's punting team be out on the field. Hackenbrack punted away. And will bounce and go back just past 20, 20 yard line. Tune in every Wednesday night following the Nate Moore Show for Swing on WHS TV. Each week, Tiger Swing Band director Jason Neal gets you caught up on all the band news, and you'll get a preview of that week's halftime show. Watch Swing with Jason Neal every Wednesday night following the Nate Moore Show on WHS TV. Find us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. So number 10, Austin Troyer will lead back out here on offense for Delaware, for Middletown. Will look to throw downfield. And will throw downfield. Pass will be complete to number three, Ronnell Davis. You see on the replay here, still coming down with that ball, even though being in coverage. Very nice keeping his eyes on the ball there on that play. Austin Troyer, second and four on the 28. Austin Troyer will take the snap again. And 
this Tiger defense. Pass was thrown to number one, and it was blocked by the offensive lineman. Third down. So D'Angelo Zimmerman was there for the Tigers. See on the replay there, Tiger defense gets to him again. So third and four on the 28 yard line. Austin Troyer take the snap. He'll look to throw. And will throw, but it will be incomplete to Amari Glover. Number three, Jordan Pringle on the coverage for the Tigers. Brings up fourth down. Number three, Dorian Pringle was there for the Tigers. So that'll bring us to fourth and four on the 28 yard line. So Middletown's punting team will come out on the field to punt it away. Another high punt there. Caught by number 24, Tyler Hackenbrack. So that'll bring us to four, first and 10 on the 41 yard line with four minutes and 45 seconds left to play in this first half of the game. The Tigers take over, first and 10 on their own 41. It's Maslin leading right now, 20 to zero. Jay and Slaughter leading, leading Maslin offense back out on the field. Hand, quick handoff to number 32, Peyton Mitchell. Peyton Mitchell finding that open. Find that opening. See one of the refs get taken down too. See on the replay here. Very nice run. It's one thing people don't think about is that this backfield referee is probably in the more dangerous parts of the field. So, first and 10 on the 47 yard line. This Maslin Tiger offense. So Slaughter with the quick handoff to number 32 Payne Mitchell again. Again with Will be a short run. Andre Matthews, number nine, with the stop. Number nine was there to make the stop. So that'll bring us to second and nine on the 46 yard line. Slaughter. We'll look to throw again. We'll quick throw to Jaquez Carter again. Jaquez Carter will lose the ball there. You see on the replay here, Quez Carter goes to try to juke out the other player and loses the ball. It does recover it. Looked like he ran into his own teammate. So that'll bring us to third and 11 on the 48 yard line. Slaughter looking to throw, will take the snap, hand it off to number 21, Jameer Gamble. Jameer Gamble with a nice run there. Number 
See on the replay here, very nice run by Jameer Gamble, staying on his feet. So first and 10 on the 35 yard line with three minutes and three seconds left, Jane Slaughter will. So first and 10. Slaughter will take the snap. We'll hand it off again to number 21, Jameer Gamble. Malachi Stewart there again to make the stop for Middletown. Malachi Stewart, number eight, was there for Middletown to make the stop. That will bring us to second and seven on the 32 yard line. So one receiver on the right, two on the left. Slaughter will take the snap. And we'll look to throw. We'll fake the handoff. That was a quick throw. It was a little low. Was intended for number eight, um, Emmy Lewis Jr. So, third and seven on the 32 yard line for Maslin. Slaughter looking to throw again downfield. We'll get out of some pressure. There'll be a quick throw. That pass was intended for number seven, Jack West Carter. That'll bring us to fourth down for the Tigers. So we can see Nate Moore keeping the offense on the field for fourth and long. So fourth and seven on the 32 yard line. Offense will stay on the field. Jan Slaughter looking to throw downfield. It will be a quick throw to the right on to number 19. Kyler Wiggins, there was a, that was a big hit. See on the replay here, nice. Read by Jay and Slaughter with the quick throw, and then you can just see a big hit. Fortunately, doesn't cross the line, though. So that would be a turnover. I believe the Tigers get the ball after halftime, correct? Tigers do get the ball after halftime. So. In this first half of the game, with two minutes and one second left to play, Middletown will take over after the turnover. So first and 10 on the 27 yard line. Austin Troyer will take the snap. We'll look to throw downfield and it will be blocked by number 29. Ball was intended for number seven, Avion Matthews. Number 29, Lennox Lemon was there too, blocked that pass. You can see this Maslin defense not backing down in this first half of the game. So Austin Troyer will hand it off to number four. Amari Glover. See on the replay here. It's caught up by. Oh, looks like there's a Tiger down. While they tend to this injury, we'll be back after this word from Menchez Brothers. Here at Menchez Brothers, we offer the comfort of a home-cooked meal and a welcoming atmosphere. 
We are home to 50 burgers, so you will never run out of options to choose from. And on Wednesdays, you can get those burgers for $3 off. We also have delicious breakfast specials. Come to Manchester Brothers to experience the incredible food and be serviced by our friendly staff. We can be found in downtown Maslin. You can call in a pickup order, or you can get it delivered using DoorDash. We can't wait to see you. Welcome to the Space Shop. With supplies and carts on site, you will be moved into your climate controlled unit at the speed of light. Our 24-7 surveillance and on-site managers ensure that your items are well taken care of. With peace of mind, stop in and enjoy some warm complimentary cookies. The Space Shop is your launch pad for a decluttered lifestyle. Thank you to both Menchez Brothers and the Space Shop. So coming back. Looks like he does come back up. That is number 33, Cody Fair. Gets back up and walks off the field. Always good to see. Cody Fair is one of those players the Tigers want to avoid getting injured the most, so. So, coming back, Tiger defense and Meadowtown offense will come back out on the field. So it's third and 10 on the 27 yard line. Two to his right, one to his left. Looks like that was a false start on the Tigers, false I start. believe. Offense number 21. Oh, no. Penalty. On offense. So, that'll be a false start on number 21, Darius Pope. That'll be the sixth opposing team's false start. False start or penalty? That's on his election for the practice start on the snap. Play reset to 118. So with one minute and 18 seconds left to play in this first half, third and 15 for the Middletown Cavaliers. Austin Troyer looking to throw, will fire it downfield. And what a magical catch there by number three, Ronnell Davis. My next lineman, number 29, and there on the coverage from the Tigers, brings up fourth down. Incomplete. Number three, Ronnell Davis will not get that. So that'll bring us four and 15 Fox. on the 22 yard Number line. Number Tyler Hackenbrack back to receive for the Tigers. Time out. During this timeout, here's a word from Discount Outlet. The, the ultimate, ultimate treasure hunt, hunt starts here. Start saving today at Discount Outlet in Maslin. We have huge selections at closeout prices for all of your everyday essentials, clothing, toys, home decor, and much more. Miss a day, miss a deal. Check out these amazing deals happening now. The best deals in town. On name brand betting. Big, Big deals. deals on name brand craft supplies. Find, Find your, your treasure, treasure today. Discount outlet where tiny prices are a Big deal. Welcome back and thank you to Discount Outlet. So coming back. One minute and 13 seconds left to play in this first half. They'll end up throwing it instead of punting it. Number seven, a Avion Matthews. You can see that was a crazy play oh. right there. 
he fumbled. Fumbled the ball. Number 29 on the Tigers coming out with it. So that was a fake punt by Middletown. He drops the ball, picks it back up, then ends up fumbling it. Oh no, it looks like he was down before he fumbled it. So that'll be a first down. So that'll bring us to a first and 10 on the 20 yard line. You can see crazy play there by Middletown. That was number seven, Avion Matthews. He actually wound up dropping the ball twice that play. He recovered it first and then was down before he dropped it the second time. Having hear the crowd not very pleased with what was just said. So with a 50 seconds left in the second quarter, first and 10. The, now during this timeout, here's a word from Bactol Excavating. Bactol Excavating has been serving Maslin and the surrounding areas since 2000. We specialize in residential, commercial, industrial site work, and utility installation. Our primary focus is our people. Bactol Excavating invests in its people by providing the best training and equipment possible to complete projects safely, efficiently, and with great quality. Whether you're looking to build a career or your next construction project, give us a call. Bactol Excavating. Thank you to Bactol Excavating, and now back to the game. So coming back for the commercial, it's a crazy play, the fake punt by Middletown. Bringing them to a first and 10 on the 20, 20 yard line. So first and 10, it will be a quick throw. Pass was intended for number six, Matthew Press Priestley. See on the replay there. Quick throw, but wasn't open. So second and 10 with 46 seconds left in the, this first half of the ball game. With 46 seconds left in the first half, Austin Troyer will take the snap, looking to throw again. Watches it, and it is caught by number six, Matthew Priestley, with the Middletown touchdown there. You see on the replay here, breaks that. Nice throw under pressure by, by Austin Troyer. Nice throw there. So that'll bring the score. Maslin 28, Middletown 6. And the extra point is up and good. We will be back after this word from Discount Tire Outlet. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. There's a simpler way to buy tires at Tire Pros. We're hassle free, guaranteed. Welcome back and thank you to Discount Tire Outlet. So 
So coming back in the second quarter, 40 seconds left to play in this first half. Middletown coming off of a very nice touchdown. First touchdown of the game, 20 to seven. Tigers are still leading. And the kick is received by Tyler Hackenbrack. Tyler Hackenbrack being very explosive. Goes in 30 to the 40 to the 50. And goes all the way down. Very nice run there. Very explosive run by Tyler Hackenbrack. You can see on the replay here. Goes back, recovers that ball, and just runs with it. Being very explosive. Showing how much power he can put into his run. Nice choice from Hackenbrack, too. He could have let that just go back, get a 20 yard. Oh, I'm blanking. But he decided to take it and wound up down near the 35. So, first and 10 on the 35 yard line with 31 seconds left to play in this first half. Jay and Slaughter. We'll take the snap. Looking to throw downfield again. We'll launch it. Ball will be incomplete. Was, in, was intended for number one, Braylon Tools. So that'll bring up a second and 10 on the 35 yard line for this Tiger offense. And Slaughter will take the snap. We'll look to throw down field again. And you can see the athleticism by number seven, Jack Quez Carter, that pass is complete. You can see him get hit, but still come down with that. You can see on the replay here, very, Nice throw into coverage there by Slaughter reading that. And bounces out of his hand and then comes back down with it. Very, very nice play. So we just snapped and spiked the ball to stop the clock during that replay. So there is 16, so it's second down. Second and 10 on the 14 with 16 seconds. Slaughter looking to throw again. And it is intercepted by number nine. A conjury. A, a, There's a flag Kendry. down. Now there is a flag on that play. I think they might call unnecessary roughness. On Middletown. So you have face mask on Middletown. See on the replay here. Condry Matthews was there to make that interception for Middletown. So first and 10 on the nine from Middletown. It'll be six seconds. And Austin Troyer will take the knee. So that'll conclude the first half of this ball game. Score is 28 to seven. Tigers are leading going into half.
And now we're going to step back and take a listen to the Maslin Tiger Swing Band. Under the direction of Jason Neal, assisted by Jen Smith-Heisler, Chris Nussbaum, Katie Catapina, Emily Butts, Carla Marsh, and student teacher Jensen Kozar. Led onto the field by drum major Jace Hannon and OB the Tiger, Adriana Kennedy. We are the 2023 Tiger Swing Band of Maslin. With a Maslin tradition since 1938, Fanfare, Tiger Rag, and Carry On. Tonight, the Tiger Swing Band goes undercover to present some spy-themed music. Our first selection was used in the Danger Powers film fr franchise. I'm sorry, that's Austin Power. Danger is his middle name. Composed by the great Quincy Jones, here's the music of the international man of mystery entitled So Bossa Nova.
At this time, the Tigers Swing Band is being joined by around 90 7th and 8th grade band members from the Massman Junior High School. The 7th and 8th grade bands are under the direction of Chris Guzman, Katie Catafina, and Emily Butts. As the bands combine for the remainder of our halftime show, we continue with more spy music. Another film franchise provides our next song. Our mission, and we've chosen to accept it, is to take over 210 musicians, only one rehearsal together, a 5-4 time signature, and to perform all for you. It's Mission Impossible. our spy show tonight, we'd like to perform the theme from the British super spy himself. His number is 007, and his name is Bond, James Bond.
Tiger Swing Band would like to again thank our golden sponsors, the Paul and Carol David Foundation, American Legion Post 221, Eagles 190, Liberty Screen Printing and Embroidery, Motley 7 Brew, and Tiger Pants. For those of you who keep track of numbers, tonight was director, band director Jason Neal's 214th we'll Tiger halftime show. He has now passed Orrin Dyke Ford's number of 213 to become... Fresh, great tasting pizza can be difficult to find. Your pizza shop located on Mathlin's west side has been making delicious pizzas since the 1960s. Their large menu includes your favorite pizzas and toppings, along with wings, pressure fried chicken, oven baked subs, and more. Their convenient drive through window is open. Delivery service is available too. Your Pizza Shop, located on the corner of Lincoln Way West and 32nd Street Northwest in Maslin. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40-plus mile-per-gallon cars weren't even in the rearview mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's Solar Ready, the quietest, most energy-efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Linux. Air is life. Make it perfect. Hello, and welcome to the Stark County Humane Society. Today we're going to give you a few pointers when considering adopting a new furry friend. All animals here at the Stark County Humane Society are spayed, neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, dewormed, and if old enough, heartworm tested for our canine friends. Adopters will receive a free exam within two weeks of adoption at local veterinarian hospitals. We encourage all adopters to take full advantage of this. A one-time adoption fee is required for your new furry friend. When you adopt, you get an awesome adoption packet that includes treats for your new fur baby and savings for you. But this is not where the cost of adoption stops. Did you know the average cost of an animal like a new puppy or kitten can cost up to $500 annually? This includes annual veterinary visits, preventative care, and everyday supplies like crate, litter, food, toys. But I hope this doesn't scare you away. Adopting an animal is a huge responsibility and a commitment. Please take the time to consider the cost of adopting a new pet into your family today. I hope to see you soon at the Stark County Humane Society. Please visit our website or visit us on social media for more information. Welcome back to the football game. Thank you to both your pizza shop and reliable heating and cooling. We are coming back from halftime now. Enjoy more Tiger football after this word from the WHS Alumni Association. The Washington High School Alumni Association provides many services to the alumnus and the community. One of the most rewarding things is helping classes with their class reunions or milestone birthday celebrations. If a class chooses to use the Alumni Association, Envelopes and labels will be provided at no cost and your invitations will be mailed out as bulk mail, which is a cheaper cost to the class. The Alumni Association also prints a newsletter twice a year. If you make an annual donation of no less than $5, you will receive the newsletter via mail in the spring and fall. If you have moved or your contact information has changed, please visit our website at maslinwhsaa.org and complete the alumni information form to make any changes. If you are interested in joining the Alumni Association, please contact any trustee or call the alumni office at 330-830-8800. 
3901, extension 51617. Welcome back and thank you to the WHS Alumni Association. Looks like everyone is preparing to start up the game again. Coming to about 45 seconds left in halftime. Yeah, Maslin will receive the ball. starting the third quarter. The score is 28 to seven. Excited to see how Middletown is coming, coming back out, how everything went in the locker room. See what they're going to change here. I'm very excited to see this Maslin Tiger offense come back out in this and see if um, this Maslin Tiger defense still comes out dominating how they have been. It's been a great game, both sides. Middletown started picking up steam right at the end of the second quarter, so let's see if they can carry it over. So, Tyler Hackenbach will drop the ball and then pick it back up. Tripped up around the 11 yard line. So coming back, so starting off this ball game, this second half of this football game. Slaughter will lead back out this Maslin Tiger offense for the first drive of the game. So first and 10 on the on the 12 yard line for Slaughter. Slaughter will, hand, it will be a quick handoff too. Number 21, Number 21 Jameer, Jameer Gamble. Kasim Powell with the tackle, number 52 for the Cavaliers. That'll bring us to second and six on the 16 yard line. So, second and six on the 16 yard line. Slaughter will take the snap. He will look to throw. He'll throw it. It'll be a quick throw to Jacquez Carter. Jacquez Carter will go, be pushed out of bounds. Very nice throw right there to Jacquez Carter. See on the replay here. Slaughter moves to the left and just very nice completion by Jacquez Carter. That'll bring us to first and 10. Big gain there for the Tigers. On the 45 yard line, Slaughter will hand off to Jameer Gamble again. Gamble, Gamble on the carry. trying to get up. Gary's Jones, number 11 there. Next nice time. stiff arm, but couldn't quite get him away. Yeah, couldn't quite get anywhere. It's nice to see some of this Tiger pass game, this game. We've been seeing a lot of their running offense, but now we're starting to see their passing offense shine a bunch. 
Yeah, really nice to see Slaughter shine in this game. Slaughter takes a snap, looking to throw. A quick throw down the left side. Was almost intercepted. Pass was, was incomplete to Jack West Carter. So that brings us to third and 10 on the 45 yard line for the Tiger offense. Slaughter will take the snap, looking to throw downfield again. Dips out a little. That was thrown out of bounds. Was intended for Braylon Tools. Brings us to a fourth and 10 on the 45 yard line. Maslin will be forced to punt it away. So 10 minutes and 11 seconds in the third quarter. Maslin will punt it away. Punt is away. Bounces at the about the 20. Punt is returned by number three, Ronnell Davis. Gene Williams there to make the tackle. On the, the replay, Tigers. really, really nice kick by Tyler Hackenbrack. Yeah. And nice tackle by the kicking team. Make sure they don't get very far. See Tyler Hackenbrack have very nice punts getting it down the field. Very consistent, too. Over all of these games, he's always been consistent with where he's getting the ball. Very strong leg on him. So, Austin Troyer will lead back out this Middletown offense. Tiger defense will come back out on the field. And Troyer will hand it off to number one. Mokai Walker doesn't get much of anywhere. It's tangled up the Tiger defense. So, brings us to second and 10 for Troyer. Troyer takes a snap, will fake the handoff. It'll be a quick throw to the right, to his right, to number 14. Darian Cunningham doesn't get much of anywhere. You can see right there, goes back and can't find his way around Tiger defense. So that brings us to another third and long. That's one of the good aspects of the Tigers defense, that they're just prepared for everything. Like, no matter what you throw at them, they always have an answer. So for Troyer, third and 13. Looks like delay of game, maybe. Actually, timeout. So during this timeout, here's a word from Buell and Oliveri Insurance. Serving our community since 1960, Buell and Oliveri Insurance is large enough to meet all of your insurance needs, yet small enough to know you personally. We take pride in having several insurance carriers, including Grange Insurance, that we can match you with to provide you the most complete coverage and the best rates. If you're tired of lower service and higher premiums, give Buell and Oliveri Insurance a call today and let our experienced agents and staff give you the professional attention you deserve.
As we come back, thank you to Buell and Oliveri Insurance. So coming back now, third and long for Troyer and this Middletown offense. Troyer will look to throw downfield and will throw far. Was intended for number 27, Tyler Bolden. Number 23 for the Tigers actually had a chance to pick that off. Just barely out of reach. So once again, this Tiger defense will force a punt. Flag down. False start, offense number eight, five yard penalty, fourth down. False start on the offense. It'll be a five yard penalty. I'll push them back five yards. So that'll make it fourth and 18 on the 14 yard line. Tyler Hackenbrack back in the backfield to receive the punt. Really high punt. Bounces off of Maslin. And they'll be down at the 42. The ball was recovered by number 16. See on the punt here. Nice punt and ball bounces off of number 16's helmet. Recovered by Middletown. Refs are discussing right now. And that is Middletown's football. The ball hit Metal Maslin, player in the helmet. First down, Middletown. So that will make it first and 10 on the 42 for Middletown. Punk going in the right direction for Middletown. So 8 09 in the third in the third quarter. Troyer, quick throw to the right. Will make his way up past the just shy past the 50 yard line. That was number six. Matthew Priestley. So second and short for Middletown. Doesn't get much of anywhere. That was number four, Amari Glover. Glover. See on the replay there, quick handoff and just can't find much of anywhere with that Tiger defense. So it'll be third and third and three. Seven with seven minutes and 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Troyer in a third and three situation. Troyer looking to throw. Get pressured by Maslin. And that'll be incomplete. Pass was intended for Amari Glover. There is a flag on the play. Defensive pass interference number 29. That's a 15 yard penalty and a first down. Yep. So. Pass interference on the Tigers. It's now first down. Cavaliers ball still.
So first and 10 on the 36 yard line. This drive is going in the right direction for Middletown. If you're Zach Blum, you're looking for a touchdown here during their, this drive. So, Troyer with the quick handoff to number four, Amari Glover. Uh-oh, looks like he's injured. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, he still is. He's limping off the field. Amari Glover not getting much room to move right there. You can see in the replay, it looks like he might have had his leg twisted weirdly whenever he got tackled, so. Doesn't look good for number four. So Amari Glover will step out. That'll bring Middletown to second and 11. Troyer, take the snap. Hand it off to number one. It'll be a fake handoff, and that Tiger defense will find their way to Middletown's quarterback. Number 41, Sean Robinson, and number three, Dorian Pringle, both there. They stop. See on the replay here, can't find much of anywhere to go with Dorian. Dorian Pringle and Vito McConnell there. Pretty convincing fake handoff, but tired for prepared for either. So that'll bring us to third and 13. Troyer looking to get something here on third and long. Troyer will take the snap, step back, throw it, and that'll fall incomplete. Was intended for number six, Matt, Matt Priestley. So it'll be fourth and long. So I'll bring out Middletown's hunting team. So once again, we can see Tiger defense taking over this offense. We saw it much of the first half of the game. It's like Tiger defense coming out strong, making those stops. Play clock just ran out. Delay of game, offense, five yard penalty, four down. That'll be delay of game on Middletown. That'll be a five yard penalty. So Hackerback will go back in the backfield to return the football. Punt is uh, up, is caught by Tyler Hawk, Hackenback. And it will be a fair catch at the 15 yard line. Hey fans, don't forget the Mass Slim Baseball Booster Club is selling Krispy Kreme donuts outside the stadium tonight. Stop by and help out the baseball team. Show your support for that Tiger. So Club. Slaughter will lead this Mass Slim offense back out with five minutes and three seconds left in the third quarter. So Slaughter. First and 10 on the 15. Slaughter will hand it off to number 21, Jameer Gamble. See on the replay here, Jameer Gamble pushes his way along. Tigers mainly just trying to get yards and run the clock out right now. That'll bring us to second and seven on the 18 yard line. Slaughter, Jack Quez Carter in motion to the left. 
Slaughter will take the snap. We'll hand it off to number 21, Jameer Gamble. Gamble finding open room to run. Stays on his feet still. Amazing, powerful run there. Running right up the middle there. Jameer Gamble. Gamble just finding the opening, taking yeah. it. Got see, caught up right see, at his feet. See the athleticism there. Just staying on his feet, having that nice balance. That's a commonality between like all of the mass and runners is that no matter what, they can keep themselves up. Slaughter hands off to Gamble again. Straight up the middle. Finds his way forward. Tristan Graham there again to make the stop for the Cavaliers. Amazing to see guys like Jameer Gamble finding those open pockets and just taking whatever he can find with it. Having that, having that power to just run straight through. Very helpful when your line makes those open pockets. Slaughter with the quick throw to Jacquez Carter. Jacquez Carter breaks it to the 40, to the 30. Is pushed out of bounds. That's Jacquez Carter. Man, Jacquez Carter, it's amazing, has had amazing runs and completed catches this game. Keeps getting the yards off of each reception. Just straight up the sideline each time. He's another one of those very quick guys on Maslin offense. Very helpful to Slaughter to have these fast guys that can get it downfield. Slaughter will look, throw, and it pass was intended for number seven, Jack Quez Carter. He got really caught up with the defender there. Darius Jones was on the coverage. You can see in the replay here, just very close with that coverage there by Middletown. So, second and 10 on the 29 yard line. Slaughter will take the snap. We'll hand it off to Jameer Gamble. Jameer Gamble finding that open room again. Straight up the middle. Being able to find the gap is what makes this Tigers running offense so dangerous. They just keep it up. Very powerful, strong guys. When you have that mixed with a quarterback that can throw it far and deep, it's very dangerous offense. Slaughter handed off to Dor Dorian Prigo. Dor Dorian Gamble pushes forward. Flies past that first down marker. So it'll be first and 10 on the 18 yard line. See on the replay here, gets that guy off of him. Just keeps on pushing forward. See Dorian. Dorian Pringle be a very key player here to this offense. Dorian Pringle's a really good dual threat too because he plays both sides. So hands it off to Mike Wright Jr. Mike Wright Jr. still pushing along. Just shy of the 10. Can see Slaughter handed off to Mike Wright Jr. Very nice to see that Mike they Maslin has been playing Mike Wright Jr. Can really push along, get those guys off of him. Another key here to that Tiger offense this game. So second and five on the 13. Slaughter will hand it off to Pringle again. Pringle will push along still. With everyone on him, he still pushes along. He didn't quite make it in, but it looks like he's down at the goal line. Amazing athleticism there by Dorian Pringle. See on the replay here, just still going through and finding those pockets and just what happens when you have a strong, strong guy that can stay on his feet. So 
first and one on the one yard line. See what Slaughter has here. Gives it to Pringle, Pringle runs straight through. And that'll be another Maslin Tiger touchdown. You see on the replay here, very nice. Just pushing through all the way into the touch to the end zone. That'll bring the score 34 to seven in the third quarter with 50 seconds left. Eighty-six. Mateo Hera to make the extra point for the Tigers. And the kick is good. Join more Tiger football after this word from Home Appliance. It's where we come together where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry Appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Gina, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union, where we provide loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Thank you to both Home Appliance and Friends and Family Credit Union for their support of Tiger Football on WHS-TV. So kick is away. Middletown, number six. Matt Priestley with the return there for Middletown. So with 44 seconds left here in the third quarter, Austin Troyer will lead back out this Middletown offense. You can see with the offensive linemen Offense, five penalty, first down. So that'll be a penalty. False start on the offense. That'll push them, push Middletown back five yards. That is the seventh opposing team's false start at home this season. So first and 15 on the 27 for Troyer. And that looks like it'll be false Offside. start on defense 12. number 12. Five yard penalty, first down. Right back to where they started. That'll be offsides on Brandon Carmen. So that'll push them back up to where they were. So it'll be first and 10 on the 32 yard line. 44 seconds left in the third quarter, first and 10. Troyer, take the snap. He'll be looking to throw. He'll throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Pass was intended for number 19, Jacoby Rogers. You can see on the, re on the replay here. Quick throw, number 19. Jacoby Rogers just can't come down with it. Has the... Tiger defense there to welcome him when he comes down. As you can see again, it is second and 10 on the 32 yard line. See this Tiger defense 
still being dom dominant here in the third quarter. So, Schroyer handed off to number to number one. Makai Walker. See on the replay here, finds his way up. So he'll gain five yards here. So third quarter with just under 15 seconds left. Third and five on the 37. Clock still running. Clock is still running down. Four, three, two, and it'll be the one. Enjoy more Tiger football after this word from Downtown Maslin Association. At the end of the third quarter, there's so much special about Maslin. You can't walk down the street without smiling and saying hello to someone who knows you, who knows your family. In today's society, we're getting fewer and fewer opportunities for families to enjoy each other in an outside activity that is free. We have that. It's a strong community. People give back. Maslin continues to give back with the residents and businesses to those in need, and, and it's a great thing to be a part of. Doring Vision Center is a primary care optometry clinic located in downtown Maslin. We have an optical department with a wide variety of eyeglass frames. From budget packages to designer brands, we have it all. Doring Vision Center uses the latest technology and fit all types of contact lenses. We treat eye disease conditions and will take emergency eye visits. Most insurances are accepted and same-day appointments may be available. Doring Vision Center. See our offices in Maslin or New Philadelphia. Welcome back and thank you to both Downtown Massive Association and Doring Vision Center. So coming back, Troyer's pass was complete to number six. Matt Priestley can see on the replay here. Nice quick throw. Maslin trying to keep their keep their uh, their league up in this last quarter of the game. 11 seconds, I mean 11 minutes and 35 seconds. First and 10 on the 45. Troyer will take the snap. Won't have anyone to throw to. That'll be another sack. That was number 41, Sean Robinson. See on the replay here, just can't find anyone. Everyone's in coverage. So Maslin defense still being very dominant here in this last quarter of the game. We've seen it all game. Maslin's defense being a very key component to this ball game. So Troyer will hand it off to number 24. Number 24, Tucker the Shield. The shield. Sean Robinson and Maverick Clark, Clark were there to make that stop there. So it'll be third and long for Middletown with 10 minutes and 20 seconds. It'll be third and 11 on the 44. Austin Troyer. Looking to get something, he'll take the snap. He'll throw it downfield. And that pass will be intended. Matt Priestley, there will be a flag. Flag is down. See on the replay here, looks like it will be on the defense on that replay. Pass interference, defense number six. Defense. That'll be pass interference, number six, Adonis Beth. Vaughn. Vaughn. That'll be a 15 yard penalty. You can, you can hear the crowd not very happy with that call.
So Austin Troyer, first and 10 on the 41. Troyer will look to throw. We'll have pressure and that'll fall incomplete. Was number, pass was intended for Jacoby Rogers. So, second and 10 on the 41 in this fourth quarter with nine minutes and 57 seconds. Troyer will take the snap. Will hand it off to number one. And then will be a false start. False start, offense from 54, second out. So that'll be a five yard penalty on Middletown. So second and 15 on the 46 for Middletown. Troyer. Fourth quarter. Will take the snap. I think that's another false start. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Second down. That'll be delay of game on Middletown. So that'll bring us to second and 15 on the 49. Second and 20 on the 49 yard line. Troyer looking to get something here in second and long. Troyer takes the snap looking to throw downfield, throws it and launches it downfield. Pass was far, was intended for. Number three. Ronell Davis, see on the replay here. Ball was very high and was thrown. A little long. So third and 20 for Middletown. So in the fourth quarter with nine minutes and two seconds, Troyer Will take the snap. Will get pressured again by Tiger defense. That was number three, Dorian Pringle. Can see again, but Dorian Pringle applying that pressure to this Middletown, Middletown defense. That will, Middletown offense. That'll be his second sack of the game. That'll bring us to fourth and 33 on the 36 yard line. Tyler Hackenbrack back in the backfield to return for the Tigers. Middletown to put it away. Delay of game again. Delay of game, offense, five yard penalty, fourth down. That'll push Middletown back another five yards see on this drive by Middletown getting false start after false start. Delay of game. So Hackenbrack back in the backfield waiting. That'll be a high snap. It'll be a short. It'll be a short punt there. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting Mass and Tiger football as our Tigers host St. John's Collegiate of Washington, D.C. Watch the rebroadcast on WHS-TV on September 30th, October 1st and 2nd 
at 12, 4, and 8 p.m. on October 3rd at 8 p.m. Catch all the action of Massillon Tiger football all season long on WHS TV. Watch us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. So, Slaughter back out on the field with the offense. Slaughter, fake handoff to Jameer Gamble. Quick throw downfield. Pass was intended for number eight, Emmy Lewis Jr. So second and 10 on the 49 yard line for this Tiger offense. Slaughter will hand it off to Jameer Gamble. Jameer Gamble not getting much of anywhere on that carry. That'll bring us to third and 10 on the 49 yard line for the Tigers. Very nice to see, see the Massillon passing game coming in this game. We've seen a lot of the run game from Dewan Owens. So very nice to see a switch up and how this offense is playing tonight. Slaughter will take the snap and it'll be a throw downfield and it will be caught by Emmy Lewis Jr. Looks like he's injured. Oh wait, he's getting up. Just got the win. Knocked out of him there. See Slaughter, very nice throw to Emmy Lewis Jr. Emmy Lewis Jr. Getting Ford knocked hard the right there. That brings us to a third and long. First and 10. See the officials having a long discussion here. So it'll be first and 10 on the 33 yard line for the Tigers. Slaughter will take the snap and will hand it off. Gamble with the carry for the Tigers. Jameer Gamble with the carry there for the Tigers. See Jameer Gamble eight, be very key Cavaliers. to this offense. Can find those pockets in the defense and once he finds those pockets, he's off. Very powerful runner. So Slaughter, take the snap. We'll fake the handoff to Jameer Gamble. Quick throw downfield to number four. D'Angelo Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Ryan Van Keener has been on the tackle. See on the replay here. Very nice quick thinking by Maslin offense. Tigers just leaving themselves with a lot of options. Like they can't get a handoff, then they got one or two people downfield to get the throw off to. So fourth quarter. Hands it to Jameer Gamble. Jameer Gamble, yet again, finding that nice pocket and just running with it and going with it. See on the replay here. Takes that snap, finds that opening, and just runs with it. Pushes along some players along the way. That'll bring us to 
First and seven on the seven yard line. With five minutes and 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Slaughter. Hopefully looking to get one more touchdown here. Five minutes and 15 seconds. Slaughter takes the snap. Hand it off to number 45, Mike Wright Jr. Nice run there by Mike Wright Jr. Number 45, Mike Wright Jr. with the carry. Number zero, Ryan Vanderhoven, and number eight, Malachi Stewart, helped usher him out of bounds. So that'll bring us to second and four on the four yard line for this Maslin offense. Maslin's been smart throughout most of this fourth quarter, just keeping the clock running as much as they can. Keeping on to that possession of the ball, running out the clock, making sure that they have the least amount of possession time that Middletown does. Slaughter, hand it off to Mike Wright Jr. again. Giant pile up right at the end zone. Michael Wright Jr. again with the carry for the Tigers. You can see on the replay here, Mike Wright with another very powerful run there. Looks like he might have been a yard short. That'll bring us to third and one on the one yard line. Maslin fine with letting that clock keeping on going. Bring us to four minutes. So third and one on the one yard line. See Mike Wright very powerful here to get through. Slaughter take the snap, we'll hand it off to number 45, Mike Wright Jr. Number 45, Michael Wright Jr. Again with the carry. Tristan Graham, oh, Mike Wright Jr. is down. I don't know if he's injured or if he's just catching a break. Uh, and it looks like he's up now. Mike Wright slow to get up. See on the replay, he gets through there, but just caught up between everybody. So fourth and one on the one yard line. Maslin, Maslin looking to get something here. Slaughter will take the snap and will hand it off to number three, Dorian Pringle. And Dorian Pringle will make it in. And that'll be another Tiger touchdown. See on the replay here, very nice run. We've seen all these games so far, Dorian Pringle being a very key to this offense, getting in there, making those nice runs, being a very powerful runner. Looks like there's an injury for the defense. Uh-oh. Middletown player still down on the field. Not quite sure. And he's up, but he is limping off the field. That's number 55. It's number 55, Justin McGill, limping off the field there. Thank you again for your cooperation.
Mateo Hera. My apologies. Gregory, and the kick is wide left. During the short break, here's a word from the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Medicap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from five to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait half hour to an hour. Probably the best uh, pharmacist in the city. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at Medicap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. Welcome back and thank you to both the Master Boys and Girls Club and Medicap Pharmacy. Number 85, Gregory Porcel to kick off for the Tigers. So Tigers will kick it away. So Tigers will extend their standing. So fourth quarter, it will be a running clock. Bit of a mix up there between both teams. Whole lot of Tigers there to stop. Turner. Number one, Mokai Walker with the return for the Cavaliers. Like Kyle, Kyle Walkers. So the clock will be, it'll be a running clock. This end of this last few minutes of this fourth quarter. So first and 10 on the 31, Troyer looking to throw, throw again. It will be caught by number six, Matt Priestley. Matt Priestley taken down. Number two, J number nine, Jade is thinking there to make a stop. Austin Troyer step backs to throw. And it's a quick throw to number six. Matt Priestley again. Works his way up to the 40 yard line. So less than a minute to go in this last quarter of the game. Bring up third down. So it'll be third and one on the 40. The running clock. Troyer steps back to throw. Launches it to number two. William Garrett, William Garrett. Pass complete to number two, J.B. Garrett. They stop the foul, personal foul, 66 from this very office, 15 yards from the other one. First down. That flag was against the Tigers. 15 yard penalty. Ten seconds left. 
So five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Troyer setbacks to throw. Final play of the game. Takes a big throw. Pass was intended for number 21. Darius Cole. Right back to wrap things up after this word from Menchez Brothers and Fat Daddy Beans. Here at Menchez Brothers, we offer the comfort of a home-cooked meal and a welcoming atmosphere. We are home to 50 burgers, so you will never run out of options to choose from. And on Wednesdays, you can get those burgers for $3 off. We also have delicious breakfast specials. Come to Menchez Brothers to experience the incredible food and be serviced by our friendly staff. We can be found in downtown Maslin. You can call in a pickup order, or you can get it delivered using DoorDash. We can't wait to see you. Fat Daddy Meats, when you have the fillin' to do some grilling, or roasting, broiling, pan frying, slow cooking, braising, smoking, or even air frying. However you like to cook it, Fat Daddy Meats has it. Locally sourced ground beef, steaks, roasts, prime rib, and seafood. Pork, chicken, bison, and exotics like elk, venison, wild boar tenderloin, wagyu burgers, even whole rabbits. Individual packages or bulk bundle options are available, all with great prices. When you have that fillin' to do some grilling, it's Fat Daddy Meats and Maslin. So, we saw from both sides of both of these teams, great things. Definitely improvements to be made on both sides. Um, we saw Maslin, the Maslin Tigers defense. Solid all game. Very, very, very key. Very key to this game. Not only that, but we got to see a lot of Maslin's passing offense this game, which was insane for most of it. Yeah, amazing to see the Maslin offense switching up things every once in a while. You know, we've seen so much of Dewan Owens and him, th him just running the ball. Very, very good at running the ball. But very nice to see Maslin switch it up here tonight and, run and go with Jalen Slaughter passing. Maslin at 172 net passing yards. Or, no, my apologies, that's 293 passing yards. Middletown at 172. As we wrap up tonight's coverage of Maslin Tiger football, we want to take time to thank the members of our WHS TV crew. Tonight's production crew includes on cameras Trevor Lake, Trinity Scout, Chris Corbin, and Sebastian Thomas. Our Cullen Comrade tonight was Xavier Bissett, and I'm your play by play announcer, Joe Kulisar. Also, thanks to our directors, Mr. DeWalt and Mr. Rock. Once again, our final score Maslin 41, Middletown 7. Once again, everyone here at WHS-TV wishes to thank all of our season-long sponsors. Be sure to tune in next week as our Tigers take on the St. John's Collegiate Cadets. Tonight's game on WHS-TV has been produced by the Washington High School Media Arts Department. Thanks for watching, and as always, Go Tigers!
welcome to the space shop. With supplies and carts on site, you will be moved into your climate controlled unit at the speed of light. Our 24-7 surveillance and on-site managers ensure that your items are well taken care of. With peace of mind, stop in and enjoy some warm complimentary cookies. The Space Shop is your launch pad for a decluttered lifestyle. Most of us are engaged with the internet in one way or another every day. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, engaged. MCTV cares about keeping you engaged, no matter what's thrown your way. Need an upgrade? Choose from a range of reliable options, including whole home Wi-Fi. MCTV. We go the extra smile.